We are Jaisal and Sonia. We're completely renovating our vintage 1989 Ford Coachman camper van that we lovingly called Turtle. Last week we finished building our loft slat bed and felt inspired to now make a little more complicated but versatile version for our futon bench. Okay, now that the loft slat bed is done, we're moving on to our next project, which is a slat bed for our bench futon area. So that way it sleeps four people. So if you ever want to hang out with us, <laughs> we have room for you. We've done it before, it was <laughs> awesome. That's kind yeah. of the, whole, the way that it was set up originally, and we like that design. Because yeah. it's very practical and functional, and when we're traveling with pets, I think it'll help a lot too, mm -hmm. to have a space for them. So the idea is that it's a bench over here, mm -hmm. uh, it will house the electrical stuff, there'll be drawers underneath, and then um, we've taken some yeah. measurements. We made some measurements, and there's going to be a vertical wall and on that side, and then vertical over here, and it'll all come together. So we have to make some templates. Template time. <laughs> Look at this beautiful artwork that Jaisal created in his mind and then drew. He got it all cut up nicely right here. So we're gonna test fit everything inside. And after all the measurements seem correct, you know, double checking everything, we'll take it back out, sand it, paint it, do all the good stuff, and then reassemble it back inside. My man, what a guy, man. I'm so lucky. For the front part of the bench, we're going to be fastening things with lag bolts. So these are kind of good enough to hold together houses. So for this, it should be good enough too. It's getting a little late, but we're going to be painting into the night. We hate the paint. <laughs> Looks good on paper, don't like it in the van. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Home Depot now and um, change the color. <laughs> Before we get too deep into this, you know? I can't believe the paint turned out so ugly and light. <laughs> it's like screaming at my face when I like, looked at it this morning. You guys can return it. We can? No way. We're not supposed to buy the manager. Oh okay. my god, thank oh my you. God. Using our inspiration pictures and a ruler to see the rattan that might be around that color. I think we made our decision. Yeah, I'm so happy. Andrew helped us and we were back and forth for so long and he helped us pick it's not even here. Mountain Lake right there. Oh it's here, yeah. Yeah. We looked at so many samples, they Mountain all start Lake. looking the same after a while. You have a decision now? Yeah. Oh, you saw this other one? We look were at just this. So excited. We were just like, look at We picked this and we ended up with this. And I showed the card. It's so blue. Don't second guess it. Why we is paint so hard to choose? You just never know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Paint is mixed. And now are you still happy or are you sad? I have no idea. <laughs> we're gonna just we're gonna just go for it. And if we don't like it later on down the line in a year or whatever, we'll repaint it. We'll change it. Jason had this brilliant idea to screw the boards into this, what is this called? This plank? Palette. This palette. So that way we can spray both sides of it. Yeah, it no waiting dry. for it to dry and turning it over. Attempt number two. While the paint is drying now, Sonia is actually taking care of some business, but my mom is here to help 
with the van. So we're gonna work on some window covers that she's gonna help me with. Yeah? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. First, we took measurements of all of the windows. Then we cut out the reflectics using the measurements. We peeled the reflectics apart and inserted magnets and used hot glue to seal everything back together. We cut the fabric and used the glue to stick the fabric to the reflectics. We used a roller to make sure everything sticks nicely. Okay, so we made this first one together and now I think my mom is gonna try to make the rest on her own while I continue with some painting. What do you think? Looks great. Yay! One down and I think like 10 more to go. <laughs> Lots of windows in here. This looks so good. Oh my God. It looks so nice and homey. Yep. So she's going to help us make all of them, hopefully. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Good job. My mom came to help too. <laughs> <laughs> These, these block a lot of like all the light and it's gonna reflect all the heat. It's gonna this be great. is amazing. It looks good. so good. And it's magnetic. It makes it super easy to get on and off if we need to. Because they're magnetic, they're also reversible. So if we want it to be blue on the outside instead of silver, you just flip them around. Hold up. Put them this way. It looks so good. Yeah. We're gonna be so well insulated. And look how good wow, it looks. It looks good. You did this. Good job! Good morning! Alright, good morning! We're gonna put the bench together now. Yes! Time Let's to assemble it. the bench! Yes! yes. <laughs> All right, so here's what we did. We made the kind of like the carcass, the frame of what the bench is gonna be. There's three parts here. So that's where we'll have drawers underneath. And we use these kind of as, not so much supports, but more to square things up. This is, we had to shorten the slats on that side. <laughs> over here, they're the right size, see? But over there, they like stick out. By a lot. Yeah, so we're gonna shorten some of them and then we're gonna start screwing things in. The goal is to get this thing, sit like sit on this thing by the end of the night. Oh, that'd be nice. With the food, bring the mattress Yeah, well, we're gonna do that, okay. even if it's in the dark. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two hours later, I made a lot more adjustments and kept rubbing up against this wall because this is curved, and this is not straight, and the hinges aren't straight because the back portion's curved. Finally, it's all working. I had to like chop little things off here. I had to completely replace this leg. I had to chop off this side right here and unscrew things and redo things a bunch of times, but now it's working. cut these felt pieces in half so that way it won't catch um, on the mattress when we put this on over. Or the futon, I should say. I wanted to take a moment to explain how this whole bench uh, bed system works because it gave us such a headache and we watched so many videos and I hopefully I'm able to give a good explanation So someone else is trying to build this in their van. It helps them So here's how it works. It starts with this back piece This covers the electrical system that's underneath and also gives a place for the hinges to attach to the Stationary slats that don't slide out and then these they alternate with this the slats that slide out 
and they're attached to this piece of wood where there's the front piece of wood for the, the slats that slide out and this back piece of wood for the stationary slats. So on the front side, we have the stationary slats. They're on this rail that goes, that's on the inner side. And then the moving slide, uh, slats are on this outer leg that actually pulls out. And you have an overlap here, so that way when you lift it up, everything lifts up together. So when you slide this out, when you slide this out, the sliding slats stay attached to this, so they'll come out. And the stationary slots stay back here. And when you push this back in, this grabs onto this. And so when you lift it up, the whole thing is able to come up as one piece. When you lift this up, you don't want the moving slats to swing out. So we, what we did was one of the moving slats, we actually overlapped on the back. So you have to make sure that there's overlap on either side so that everything kind of moves together when you lift it up and it works nicely. Down here we have these vertical pieces that will not only support the drawers but they support the bed and these pieces here that also support the sliders in the back. Nice. There. And then I can lift it too. Nice. Yay! Right. And we can access our little electrical stuff if we need to. Mm -hmm. And we were going to put gas struts, but it's going to be way too complicated and we don't have time for it. So we'll we'll figure out a system. We'll maybe like tie a thing up here so it can hold open if we need to. Or I don't yeah. Know. So we'll only really need to open it up all the way like this when we need to access the electrical system. So it'll be hopefully rare. So yeah, this is pretty much done. We just need to put the drawers so that way we have more storage space underneath. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll probably put that in a yeah. later video. We're going to do all the drawers all at once with the kitchen and the closets and everything. So it's just one batch of drawers. Mm -hmm. But now at least the bench is done. Yeah. So let's get the futon in and try it out. Yay. Let me get the pillows too. Yeah. So because it's a kind of like an L shape, we want to have some pillows. And I think the pillows will double as um, sleeping pillows when we're if when we pull this into a bed. So we'll keep them in like little pillowcases or something. Those pillows? Yeah. We're not bringing those pillows. I want these pillows. Oh my god, they're not even gonna be comfortable. Leave it in the comments below if we should bring our cool Indian no, pillows. No, these aren't even comfortable. You're so comfy. No, okay, I'm not I comfy. love these. I'm not even on the bench anymore. Okay, we'll move it up then. This way you could actually sit properly, sit like, you know, it comes all the way up to your shoulders for tall people. No, Look at I you. I just need like lumbar support down here, pillow like down here, like a, like a bedroom pillow. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, this you is... guys, you guys decide. And... Then why even bring a futon? We should just have two pillows here. And sit on there. <laughs> no, I like it. It's comfy no. and it's beautiful and it represents our culture a little bit, you know? No. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll see. We'll see. No, it's not going to be this one. You guys let us know. Uh-uh. Nice. Yay, Stefan. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is awesome. We did it. We did it. <sighs> Done with this project. Oh, my God. This is so cool. The window coverings help. The pillows are too big. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> That's the only problem. I told you these pillows aren't comfortable. I love these pillows. No, they're not coming with us. <laughs> All right. I know, they're not coming. I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this week. If you know any Indian pillow makers, <laughs> no. leave it in the comment for me so we can uh, make this place beautiful. We also wanted to say a huge shout out to our moms yeah. for helping us this week. With the window covers, they beautiful this window was covers. a much bigger undertaking than we thought. Yeah. And my mom ended up having to come over three times to finish them all, like all these windows. <laughs> and um, we have all of them. And it's, it's helped so much that we 
are still fine to just sit in here yeah. because it's a hot day today actually it's boosting our ac and reflecting out the sun and keeping things really cool yeah. in here. so it'll make oh, working this. it'll make working in here like so much better show them this oh yeah yeah it keeps the inside and outside temperature just about the same Look at and that. right now that's without the ac normally the sun would come in here and just bake this if it was mm -hmm. 75 outside the inside would be like 85 or 90. so this is making a big difference thanks mom thanks mom <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys next week when we try to put up the kitchen. Yep, I think that's the plan. Kitchen and plumbing. But um, yeah, we'll see what we're doing next. See you next week. See ya. Oh no, the magnet got into the screws. Can you even see the magnets right there? Oh, um, no, we're too close to the camera. Oh I'm my god. <laughs> Jaisal was telling me that growing up, you did all his science projects and art projects for him. In elementary and middle gosh. school, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I I used to wake up all night pretty much and they both my boys, they were sleeping and I used to do all their projects. So I'm, I just like, I'm so used to. You couldn't? They never, they never did their own projects. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Do this. You get. I'm too short. <laughs> <laughs> what does she make me do? <laughs>